Hola, buenos dias. Good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you could stop by and join me for another video. It's your girl here, Daniela, Miss Four Lizard. And today I'm going to be setting up my Franken planner, my mega happy planner, my happy planner solar system for the month of March. Um, we are moving into the third month of the year. I know, crazy. Spring is right around the corner and this like the planner setup video um for the new month is always one of my favorite videos to film because i just love that feeling of like rebirth and restarting and turning over a new page and getting handed you know a, a blank sheet of paper um i love that feeling when you switch over to a new month and you're like this is it this is gonna be my month. This is the month where like I get all of my goals done. I lose that five pounds. I, you know, I do everything that I want to do. I just love that feeling like of the fresh start. And when you paper plan, and especially when you work in multiple planners, I feel like you get to experience that like fresh start emotion with every single planner you have. And if you have a lot of planners like I do, you get that emotion like times eight. <laughs> So I'm really excited to be setting up my planner for the month of March. I'm going to be changing up the cover, the discs. I'm actually going to be also changing up some of the planners that are in my planner lineup right now. So if you're interested in seeing um, how I set up my planner for the month of March, just keep on watching. So I just filmed my February planner flip through. So this isn't going to be a flip through. It's you might like see some pages, obviously, as I like set up um, the new planner, but I'm not going to spend a lot of time sharing what is in this planner. I'm just going to be setting up the new planner. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is uh, I'm going to be taking off everything off of the discs because I want to change the discs to these um, lavender uh, metallic expander discs. I have decided to move away from the hot pink ones and I'm going to be placing everything that I'm going to be keeping here on the side and also anything that I'm going to be returning to other planners um, or the planners that you know these pages came from, I'm going to be setting aside. And now I'm going to pull everything off the discs and I'm just going to fast forward through that and we'll come back at the end. Okay, so everything is off the discs and I'm ready to start transferring all of the stuff that I want to keep in the new uh, planner um, onto the new discs and the new cover. So I'm actually going to be using the cover of the Pressed Florals Horizontal Planner um, that I have been lusting after for <laughs> a while now. I picked up this planner, I think, in summer of last year and I didn't feel like using it um, until spring and so I had to wait <laughs> a couple of months for me to like finally bust it out for spring but I am so ready and I'm also going to be using the cover page I think for um for the this planner because I'm going to move on from my Valentine's Day uh, cover page. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to transfer all the stuff that I'm keeping onto these new discs and the new cover and then once that's all done I'm going to come back um, and individually pop in the months of March for every planner that I'm using and yeah we'll just go through the entire process. So first let me get everything on the discs. All right, so now I have all of the cover pages kind of set up. Um, I need to glue this down so that I can just like flip to the table of contents here. But I have my title page and then I have my table of contents. Um, 
the yearly uh, uh, pages, and then my habit tracker, my New Year's resolution vision board, my sticky note dash, and then I have some daily agenda sheets and some blank filler paper, and then we get into my first planner here. And so I always tuck in the last page of um, the previous month because usually I tend to um, like set up my planner, you know, a day or two before uh, the actual month. So it's currently the 26th and I want to keep this page in because I still want to write in the planner that on the 26th and the 27th. And I also want to keep in the, um, the monthly overview here. So uh, I usually, you know, keep this page here and what I'll do is I'll just leave this page um, loose like I won't paper clip it. Usually I'll paper clip this so that, you know, I don't have this random page here and I can go just straight to the monthly overview. But when I'm in this like two to three day in between stage, I like to just leave it open. And um, now I'll go ahead and start popping in the new months um, for all of my planners. And actually this this one is going to be a little bit different because I decided to step away from using this undated Mickey Mouse vertical planner and move to using this dated vertical Mickey Oasis planner. So a little bit different here. I just picked up this planner um, on clearance in Joann's and I always wanted this planner but I never picked it up because I just couldn't pick up every single planner I wanted. So what I'll do here is I will um, tape these together. So let me find my double-sided adhesive. Here we go. I'll just use this guy here to um, tape this together like so. There we go. And then that way, you know, I can just like flip to the March monthly. And I love this March overview so much more than the other one. I really dislike that other one. I love this to-do list. I love the grid section, the gratitude section. So um, yeah, I'm really happy to be moving into this planner. And the nice thing about undated planners is that you could always set them aside and return to them whenever. So I can definitely set aside this Mickey planner that I have that I was using and set it aside for when I want to return to it. And because it's undated, I can do that without feeling like I'm wasting planners. So this is the divider for March. And I like that, you know, I'm not going to have to um, date this uh, this planner every single month for the rest of the year. So, okay, we have now my first planner all set up and I'm gonna tuck in my um, bookmark here and I'll put the paper clip just on the Gudetama poster so that way whenever I'm ready to paper clip it, um, I'll have that there. So that is my first section. And then let's move on to my second section here. And again, we have the last page of this week here, which I'm still gonna be working on. So I'll tuck in my bookmark right on this page and the paper clip on the Gudetama poster. And then I'll pull for the month of March for this planner, which um, I actually, um, the, the pages that the planner those pages come from are from this planner and I was using it for the cover up until I took it off so I'm gonna return these cover pages to the planner and pull for the month of March okay so here's the planner and we'll pull for the month of March here I love how seasonal it is we have our lucky clovers and horseshoes and rainbows. It reminds me of like Lucky Charms. So we'll just pop this into the planner rings. And I'm really looking forward to um, to this month. And I love how the spine has like the seasonal doodles. It has these little uh, clovers along the spine. And then for April, it has flowers. So really, really cute. And then we'll pop in the next divider here. 
And so the next section is my science communication section. And I was using this dashboard um, style planner, um, this one here for this section, but I've decided to go ahead and change that up because it just wasn't working for me. The dashboard was not working for me. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and change it up. And I just picked up this vertical style um, colorful dogs planner from Joann's. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and use this guy for um, for this section. And we're, we're gonna try it out and see how, how it's gonna work for us. So, I'm going to pop in the March overview page here and then the March divider. I was using a vertical for this section um, last year and I did really like it. So I think I think it's just the vertical is um, is what I need for this particular section. So we're going to try it. Uh, the dashboard, I did try to love the dashboard for this section, but it just wasn't working for me. I wasn't inspired. It just wasn't, it wasn't it, you people. Um, yeah, so last year I did use a vertical for this section and I really enjoyed that. And I tried to uh, use a dashboard um, this year and it just wasn't working for me. So uh, I'm gonna go back to the vertical and see if that is uh, still, you know, uh, what I need for this section. So we have that. Let's pop in the next divider here with the paper clip. Put that on. So this next section is my current events section and I'm using um, the, where is it? The colorful leopard planner. It's a line vertical. And this one is gonna be a little bit tricky um, because as I said, it's not quite the 1st of March, and so I still want to work in this planner, and so I'm just going to keep it for now. Um, I'm going to keep the uh, the, um, the monthly in here as well as the weekly, but I'm also going to add in the month of March just so that I can have it in here. As I said, I don't want to move out these pages quite yet because I do want to work in it over the weekend. And um, yeah, so let me pop in this bookmark here. And then also pop in this bookmark here. And then pull for the month of March in here. Let's see, March, March. Always believe in your wildest dreams. I love these dividers. They're so motivational. So we're gonna pop that in here so we have the month of March already. And then we'll have our Gudetama divider separating that section from the next section which is gonna be my spirituality section. And this section, actually, I was using um, my, let's see, where is it? I was using my color block painterly pastels planner um, and this was just not working for me i needed something a little bit more structured and so i went ahead and got a whole faith planner from the happy planner this was on clearance and i was a little bit hesitant at first to get a faith planner for faith planning because um this is very christian centered and i'm very multi-faith and although i do uh you know practice aspects of christianity i'm not completely christian and so I was a little bit hesitant, but I do really like how it's laid out. I like how there's different sections for scripture, observation, and application, particularly the observation and application. I feel like um, that's pretty neutral, you know, like the scripture reading plan is probably the most like Christian specific, but I can kind of take this, um, like I can generalize this section and instead of it being just scripture, it can just be any any faith, you know, like any faith's holy writings, because I tend to like read um, very multi-faith and I don't just read the Bible. I read like texts from various religions and cultures. And so I can just 
generalize the scripture reading to mean like anything, you know, any holy text. And then from there, observation and application is pretty neutral and pretty um, general. And so I don't have to be like limited to just, you know, Christian faith in this. And so, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot. I just really like all of the lines that they give you because I do tend to write a lot in my faith planner and I like how it's kind of separated into this observation and application section so that it's a reminder that, you know, whatever you're practicing spiritually, it needs to be, um, it needs to be realized in actual life. So that's a really good reminder. So we're going to pop in the month of March for my faith section. I'm really inspired um, by this planner and so I'm excited to get back into faith planning. So we have the month of March here and I don't think I'm gonna pop in that last page from the color block because I'm just gonna you know let that be. I'm just gonna make a clean break from it. I'm just gonna start right off in March and set up my March uh, monthly and weeklies and just leave behind that color block. So we're just gonna move on from that. And then at the back here, I have my spiritual appendices. These are kind of like just reference uh, spreads that I like to kind of keep around with me. We have my Aztec calendar here um, that I'm slowly filling in. And then I have some of my moonology pages. Um, this is moon magic stuff. So I'm also working on filling these out surely, slowly, but surely I'm getting these done. So these are my moon magic pages. And then I have um, my fitness section. So let's pop in my divider here. I'll clip in my little paper clip. And um, because I still want to work on this page, I'm going to leave in the month of February for now because I still want to work on this. I still want to work in the monthly calendar. There are a few things I need to um, write down for this and um, I'll just keep in the month, the weeklies just you know, to keep everything together. And then I'll pop in the bookmark here. I always forget to take off that like film that covers the bookmarks until it gets all like ugly and wrinkly. Okay, so let's pop in the fitness bookmark here and then there we go. The last page of fitness. And we're gonna also pop in the month of March. So let me find March here. Oh, that's so pretty. I love these dividers so much. This looks like she's doing yoga at Joshua Tree. That definitely looks like Joshua Tree in the back. So we'll pop that in and then we'll move on to our next, um, our next planner here. She's already getting so chunky. So this is my wellness planner. And I also want to keep in the monthly calendar view uh, because I, you know, still need to fill out a couple of um, days here. Well, just two days, but I want to keep it in so that I remember to fill it out. And I think I'm going to just leave in the last page of um, the wellness because I don't want to keep in these extra pages. I'm not going to work in them. I don't think so. Maybe I'll just keep this last one so that way I have the entire week that I can work in. But you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get rid of these pages and also the fitness pages. I'm just going to keep this week in and I'm going to get rid of these pages just so I can free up some space because I definitely feel like my planner is getting really chunky because um, I'm adding in new months and for some of the planners I'm keeping like old months as well so we're just trying to save space. I'll 
pop in the mood tracker bookmark and also my weekly wellness bookmark and then we're going to move on to the uh, wellness appendices so these are my sleep log and um and my wellness journaling pages so let's see i can add these pages here and then i'll add my Gudetama divider really cute motivational poster and then we're going to move into my household section and um, I am uh, switching up the planner here. So previously I had um, this color block dashboard Mickey planner for household. And I'm gonna switch that up. I'm gonna go for this guy here. This is the blush, the blush dashboard planner. And um, I was using this for my science communication work and the dashboard just wasn't working for me. So, uh, I switched that to a vertical, as you saw, but I feel like um, this would be perfect for household because I love a dashboard for a household. But I also want it to be like a farmhouse theme, and the farmhouse theme was kind of clashing with that Mickey Mouse dashboard. So I've decided to go ahead and switch up, um, switch it up, and make this be my um, my household planner here. So we'll add in the bookmark to the first week and I'm gonna pop in the monthly overview page um, for this section here I was using it for something else so the stuff that I have noted down here has nothing to do with household but I'm gonna go ahead and start transitioning it into household starting this weekend so we're just gonna leave it open here and then I have my monthly overview and then um, you know what I might move this dashboard here so that way I can flip to the page that I need to be at. So there we go. We have my dashboard for my household. I love the dashboard for household. It's so good. And finally, we've reached the very end here. Let me just pop in um, the last motivational poster. And we'll also pop in um the last page of february for the march overview and also the um the bookmark so that i can flip to the section easily and then we're gonna pull for the next month so let me find my meal planner um and pull for the month of march so cute these little cocktails oh my god i love this like realistic photography so we'll put this into the planner we're setting up for the month of march and then i'll pop in this folder with just a couple of stickers in here i just have some random stickers so i'm also gonna put in these stickers here i just got these from um hobby lobby and i like carrying food stickers around with me in my uh in my planner because they're just really cute and i like looking at them um so we'll take out these stickers that i have here and uh, these are like other food stickers that i have i also have these which are donut stickers so i'll keep all my food stickers in this little folder here and that way it's perfect it works out because i have them like right next to my uh, meal planning planner and so if i need a pull for like a cute decorative sticker i have them right there and i'll just add these stickers um here in the back these are just other types of stickers and that's it we have the entire mega happy planner all set up she's pretty thick she's actually thicker than i want her to be right now because i have some um i have both the months of march and february in here right now for some of the planners so it is a little bit thicker than what i'm used to and i am used to a thick planner but that's fine so we have the pressed florals horizontal cover um, front and back just getting me into the mood for spring we have her on the metallic lavender expander discs Ugh, i love it so much 
And then we have the cover page from the Press Florals. It's so gorgeous. I'm gonna write my name there at some point. And, oh, I'm gonna need to tape this. Let me find my adhesive. So we're gonna just um, put some adhesive here so that way I can flip the cover page directly to um, the table of contents and my motivational poster. We have the year at a glance and I already showed you all this. So I'm just gonna flip through it really quickly, but I have my bullet journal spreads, my sticky note dashboard, my daily agenda sheets, um, and some filler paper. And then we get to my first planner section. And because right now I'm still working on this um, in this week, I'm just going to go ahead and leave the paper clip um, off. Well, it's just going to be on the motivational poster divider. It's not going to be like attaching these two pages because normally these two pages would be attached and I would just go straight to the March overview um, or the monthly overview of the next month. But right now I'm just leaving this open. So funny story, I'm a biologist and I study DNA and this system that I have in my planner where I sometimes have it open like this, where like, I mean, usually I have this, this page here clipped to the divider. So that way when I'm flipping through it, I go straight from the divider to the monthly overview and then the divider. But sometimes, you know, in that in-between phase where I'm in the last days of the month, but I still, um, but I'm still, I'm not into the new month, like, but I still need to like, you know, have this page open. Um, so that reminds me a lot of like DNA replication um, and how DNA works. <laughs> I like whenever I feel like whenever I am doing this, I'm just like, I think a lot about DNA because DNA, when it's not in use, um, it tends to be like tightly wound around little proteins. And when it's tightly wound like that, you can't really do anything with it. You can't replicate it, you can't access it. And so when I have um, like my pages paper clipped like this, it reminds me of DNA when it's in that wound state. Mm -hmm. And when I have it open like this and I am able to access this like page here, um, it reminds me of like when uh, DNA is unwound and it's able to be accessed and you're able to replicate it and make proteins out of it. And so I like to think of this as like it's my planner is in its unwound accessible state. And then when it's like paper clipped in, it's in its coiled, like um, unaccessible DNA state. And I'm a biologist. So I always think about things in like biological terms. And I just, I am just like so tickled by that analogy. And so I just wanted to share that to the world right now. So anyways, moving on, this is my first planner here. I have my March overview and then my March divider and monthly and my weeklies. I'm really excited to get into this planner. Um, really looking forward to it. So happy to be getting into there. And then we have my second planner. Again, the last uh, page here is not paper clipped yet, but then we have the March divider, March monthly, and March uh, weeklies. Um, yeah, really looking forward to that planner as well. And then let me add this paper clip. We have this planner here. Um, this is my science communication work and we're switching into a vertical style um, planner and this is the colorful dogs planner and I'm so looking forward to returning to a vertical for this section. I was using a dashboard up until now so I'm really happy to be moving into that one. And then I still have my February um, month in here for my current events section. This is a lined vertical from the Colorful Leopard. I still want to work in this weekly spread over the weekend. So I left that in there. As soon as it turns March the 1st, I'm going to be taking out these pages and just having the March monthly in here. 
So there we have that. And then we have my spirituality planner. I already got rid of my February. I just have my March monthly in here. And this is a new addition to my lineup. I am switching into a planner. I mean, a faith planner for spirituality. So I'm excited for that. And we have just my spiritual appendices back here. My Asta calendar and my moon calendars. And then we move into my fitness planner here. Um, I'm keeping my February in here as well. Well, part of my February. I'm just keeping the monthly, the overview, and the last weekly. Um, because I still want to work in it. But I've also added the March uh, monthly in here. And then I have my wellness planner. And I love this one so much. And I'm still keeping my... Uh, my mood tracker here um, from February um, until it hits March 1st and then I'm going to take out these pages because I still want to journal in them uh, over the weekend so I want to keep them around but I also went ahead and added um, oh I didn't actually I need to add in the March monthly right now so let's pull for it here we go Ooh, that's a really pretty one divider it says shine your light so we have the wellness planner and has a nice purple accent to the weekly pages we have my uh, wellness appendices my sleep logs and some wellness pages and then we have my farmhouse uh, or my household section I like calling it my farmhouse section and um, we have just here the last week of February and then the March overview and this is going to be a new change to my lineup. Um, I was using the color block Mickey but now I'm going to be using this uh, the blush dashboard. This guy here I'm excited to you know switch it up this month. Um, I like how neutral it is. It's going to be perfect for household. And then the last section in here is going to be my nutrition section or my meal planning section. So I just have the last week in February here. And then we have the March um, monthly and weekly pages. And the last thing in here is a folder with some stickers and some stationery in the back. And that is the entire setup of this mega happy planner. There's eight different planners in here. She is my baby. She is my heart. And she inspires and motivates me so much. And yeah, I'm really happy with the setup. I'm excited to get into the handful of new planners that I'm using in March. And really looking forward to it. So that's it. That is the entire planner setup video. I always have such a blast setting up my planners. It's like absolutely one of the happiest videos I film. So I hope you enjoyed watching it and checking out all of the different planners I'm using. Let me know what your current uh, planner lineup is for the month of March and if you've decided to switch up any of your planners. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and a beautiful month of March. Um, I hope you have a beautiful start to your spring season and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye!